my time running out. A yeah. Point blank. Take a look at that again. Just brushing off the contact. Yeah. All the way. His pass goes wayward. So good crossover there. Jericho Cruz, extra pass to seven. Oh. Top by Calvin. Look at this once again. Cruz with a pass, but wow. the fingertips getting to that ball coming from the beast. With Adamson, and he shows us what, shows us what he can do right there. Uh, Amer with the throwaway, another turnover, and another point of the turnover of how Magnolia are destroying Blackwater on the defensive end as well. And Nabueva with an easy finish. Sangala working against Chua. Yet Sangalang started out the third quarter with back-to-back -back baskets. Now it's a Buena's third. He's got nine. Than his average here in the conference. All, all uh, Elvin Buena needed to do was be a presence. Not the defense handle. This move, baseline drive, reverse layup for Calvin. Do it all by himself there, but there's so many blue shirts. He thought he had that size advantage against Mark Barocca, that's why he posted up, but Calvin used the trailing big, but he saw that he has the size advantage against Ed Dakiwag. Sangalang thought about it, a little hesitation there, and Calvin Abueva, what a monster on the rebound, and gets that to fall. But it doesn't result to points. 2 and 40 to play here, action picking up between Magnolia and Phoenix. Abueva! Abueva, he can go coast to coast and even without the ball, he's gonna run, he's gonna flex on you. Here in the first half. Oh, Norbert Torres denied by Abueva there. Let's take a look at this block shot. Very good defensive play by Calvin Abueva. Very deceiving in his ability to be able to do those types of things, especially against players who... Uh, you know, these, these, these weaves, these screens. I saw a lot of that in the very first game. It's very, very effective. You can see that Magnolia is trying to interrupt. It's hard as well. People don't realize that if you give a good outlet pass off of a rebound, you can get off to the races just like that. Morpus gets into Calvin Abueva, and that's where... He loves the open court. He loves the contact. He just loves using all that athleticism that he has. So it means that when, when the world's better after this pandemic, I think there is a high possibility that we will be coming back with fans with Jason Castro playing here again. Should. You know, Calvin Abueva, we said that he can hurt you with turnovers when he goes aggressively to the hoop, but he can also do these things. Uh, even on the four spot being on their side, he still has a strong body and he improved his three-point range. That's right. But Calvin Abueva says, I think I taught you how to shoot threes. <laughs> this is the way. Yeah. And Rome Della Rosa in the post. Calvin, strong drive wow. to the hoop for two. And that's what I'm talking about. He saw that Marcelo started to cut upwards towards the free throw line. That left a gap. All he had to do was get past. So you can see the, the young process that like, no, Miralco Bulls is building. Learning that it wasn't enough. Rebuilding, adding more, adding more talent. And finally, Coach Norman Black feels that in terms of just coaching the Merato Bulls, this is the best team he's ever assembled. For sure, aggressive on offense, now trying to prove that he can also defend on the other side. Weba pulling up, answers with a three. Weba showcasing his range here. A bit too much time there for Blackwater's liking. But right now, the percentages are almost the same, except for the free throw shooting uh, for both squads. Great help defense there coming from Barroja. I mean, okay, here we go. So, this nice up fake, but then, you know, just the timing of Calvin the Puebla. Yeah, I'm sure if you ask Matthew, he would still have loved to have Calvin by his side in Phoenix. Calvin trying to get his. Kiss the floater up and in. Calvin, that's good. It's just like that, they're back in the ballgame. Now to Mark Barofa, Jonathan Gray, right in front of him. Abueva, 4-3, that's good. Yes, he's starting to, you know, uh, thinking 
the responsibilities of scoring. Got a couple of threes and a couple of field goals. Baroca to Calvin Abueva, a looper. Miles in. Abueva with the entry pass to Rivas. Kicks it out, Abueva for three. That's good, another three point conversion for the base. Or plus the offensive rebound against Caferal. They get it back out to Baroca. Baroca hands off. Abueva fakes the three. Drives against the Vance inside for two. Abueva. Abueva from the left side giving it to Pascual. Give and go play. But Calvin missed the layup. Got the offensive rebound and put back. Stay. Look at this once again. Nice crossover. And look at Abueva. Up fake. Just, just go hard. Finish to the left. And his rhythm. That was the first three point conversion for Magnolia since the opening quarter as the beast is starting to put in the work. Slow on their closeouts. There's a lot of threes going up from Terra Firma. Baroca. They leave Calvin Abueva wide open. I'm not sure if you want to do that. Nine minutes of this quarter. And Lex all of a sudden. Quiet on offense as that one-hander is money. As JP Eram is halted here by the defense of Sangala. Gio Halal is pushing. Goes to Calvin Abueva. The layup is gone and one have to get those types of stops you're gonna have to really start pushing the ball here still a lot of time left bigs they prepared for the rebounding second chance opportunities uh, period and it's really paying off dividends Abueva hits from three it's able to tap it to Chua Justin couldn't get that and oh boy the shooting of Phoenix just really hobbled down here that's Abueva way up there very difficult to stop that Point advantage now for Magnolia. Paul Lee kicks it out. Calvin Abueva for three. That's good. Well, they were beating him to take that three point shot, making them pay with Calvin Abueva. The beast off the glass. I like Bao. Let's take a look at this. Calvin Abueva sees the opening attacks, cuffs the ball, goes over Trotter and scores. You know, it, it's not his fault. She should have. She should have made the shot. Marco saves it to Han Misi, and Abueva takes care of it himself. No need to pass it to a referee. He's gonna get it from his team. You know he is. Uh, well, it's a good thing they're up by. Seven.